This semester in MathStat 2330, we're going to use material from openintro.org for our uh, textbook. So you will need to go at least once to uh, openintro.org. It'll get you to this page. We are going to pick the statistics part, and here it tells you about the textbook and the materials that are available. The things in this left-hand column are things for students, the textbook itself, there are some labs, we'll use some of the labs for our written assignments, and some videos that are helpful in understanding the textbook. The things in the right-hand column are essentially for instructors. The forum is a discussion uh, that instructors are having about how to use the material, and the slides are some slides that we would use if we were in a face-to-face -face class and uh, some of the extras that are available. What you need to do very early on is go to the textbook. When you're here in the textbook area, you can download the second edition. That's the one that we're going to be using. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You can have an electronic copy. It's a PDF file. It takes a little while to download, but once it's there, then you've got the entire textbook. If you want to have a hard copy of the book, you can order it from Amazon for less than, than $10. If you want to read it on your, on your uh, smartphone or a tablet, then uh, downloading this tablet-friendly version is probably the right idea. In our course, we'll be looking at chapters 1 through 7. Uh, some things that you'll want to do, of course, is read each one of these chapters when you're doing a, one of the modules. But here are some things I want you to especially look at. In the learning objectives, there's the learning objectives for each of the chapters. We'll be doing one through seven, remember. If you're looking, for example, at the first chapter, Introduction to Data, then each of the sections in the textbook are mentioned, and a learning objective for that section is listed. So if you pay attention to those, you'll be able to pick out the key important things that are needed in each one of the sections. There are also some helpful videos that go along with each one of these sections. So reading the textbook and watching the videos will help you understand this material and be well prepared for it. Okay, remember it's openintro.org. That's where we're going to get the stuff at.